So, Mr. Sholto, uh, what's your opinion on the future of BRI in the context of uh, Asia, South and Southeast Asia? I think it has the potential to be um, enormously successful. I think the, even the fact that it's, its definition is a little bit fluid at the moment uh, is actually something in its favor because it means that people who are currently um, formally not in favor of the BRI, like India, there is a kind of option for them to be involved in it. And if you, if you view it as a big project about China in partnership, ultimately with the world, but in particular with, with Asia and, and Africa and the Eurasian uh, landmass, keeping things a little bit open gives everyone flexibility. Um, it makes it an idea that everyone can join in and can benefit from if, if they want to. Now, I think um, beyond that, there are one or two uh, issues which need to be looked at to make sure that it is successful. Uh, one is transparency on the projects involved. Um, the countries that are involved in these projects need to know what the details are. Um, there should be no reason why they, they should not be transparent. This will also address um, popular concern about the BRI being used as a tool of Chinese influence, insofar as that concern is in quite a few countries. But people can see very clearly what the terms and conditions are. Then also governments need to make sure that they are asking for appropriate terms and conditions. Um, both sides have a responsibility here. Some people seem to be saying, especially those who are critics of the BRI, that the BRI is just win-win means that China wins twice. Um, you know, actually, uh, both sides need to make sure that they're going into this deal with their eyes open. Don't expect China to be altruistic. They want to make money out of this too. Of course they do. This is not aid. But it, they are offering opportunities that um, nobody else is really in terms of the kind of big infrastructure project, projects that everybody knows South and Southeast Asia needs. So go into these agreements with your eyes open um, make sure that you've thought about it very seriously before you agree with the project. Make sure, not necessarily that it's going to make a project, but it is definitely going to be a significant boost to your economy, will lead to job creation, skill transfer, etc., etc. And I think if all sides enter it, into it on that basis, then it certainly has um, the possibility of being a very key part of the Asian century. Thank you. Thank you so much.